Hello. So today I'm going to be playing as Vermont, and I'm going to be going for a bit more of a meta-based strategy this game. With my starting build order... Oh, actually, no, no, stuff it. I'm, I've finally got an open map. <laughs> I'm going to go for getting crads. Because <laughs> getting crads aren't really the metagame. Uh, the metagame's mainly based around using... Two Pyo starts, mixing in Grenadiers, and then going for an MG. Maybe later on, or maybe not getting an MG at all, but I feel like the Kettenkrad allows for the potential to use an early game, early game MG with its ability to provide a bit of a push to round up any stray riflemen. But also... Uh, just through its capacity to to wide vision and see things coming before they become a really big threat. It allows Grenadiers to be in the right place so that they're not taking damage when they're being hit. Um, building sandbags or wire. Um, and scenarios like this can be mitigated a little bit earlier than what otherwise it may be. He's come way too close there, so I'm going to move in here with the scouts. Move in with the Grens as well. Oh, i got to back up though. This is the disadvantage though of going for Kedenkrad. You are outnumbered. So I'm going to push him here to make sure he doesn't kill that Pioneer. I'm going to push him a bit more here. Focus down that one rifle. I can't stay in this engagement for too long. But I can for long enough until that MG gets there. And this is what I mean by pushing. I can push him out of cover and he'll get suppressed here. And that wins me in the engagement. That action of pushing just swings it all in my favor. It is risky. Um, but it is a risk I am more than happy to take. Alright, they are pinned. And I'm just going to cap the north now. And maybe get a sneaky little mine down as well. That's enough. I'm going to back up there. This guy's going for the meta US base play at the moment as well. Which is two riflemen into jeep. Um, so I do have my sneaky little mine there. I'll just go behind it to maybe bait him into that mine. We'll wait and see. Because he might come head on. Is he coming head on? No. He's coming this way. So I'm just going to go north a little bit. And maybe bait him into it. And now we'll come back around like that. <laughs> this isn't going to work. Let's just go back to the safety of my main my main lion infantry and get some repairs from my pioneers as well I'll give chase there a little bit I can block him here with my cat so I'm gonna go here press stop and that makes him stop Ooh. Nice. That's some nice little damage. So now he has to use his repair. I don't. Uh, another little mine. Whilst I'm repairing. And we'll just back this vet one squad up now. Because he's going to heal up that squad. And also my pioneers he'll heal up. Oh, good flank. I will get the suppression off though, but I have to come across now. We'll merge that one squad. Everything else is going to push into the middle. Put a lot of pressure down. And now I want to extend over to his cutoff if permissible. We're going to move those pioneers around. Bring that MG up because his rifleman's coming around here. Which means... One squad is going to be out of the fight here. So you can see it's there. That's one rifleman out of the squad fight. So I can go to his cutoff here. 
So people I'm putting pressure on that cutoff. Extend my MJ2. He's cut off as well. And I've mined that little point there. Commandant, territory sector lost. Nice, there's the suppression as well. I've brought that rifleman or that MG into a good threatening state there. We'll just back up. I'll get this fuel under my control as well. I think he's actually coming around here to flank, so I'm not going to go push that. Wait, is he still capping it? Nah, he's not. He's going for a flank. I'm going to rotate this. I think he's got grenades. So I've got no fuel, but he's also got no fuel. And in my eyes, that's a win for the Vermac player. If this ever happens. All right. Let's go north. Kill the G. Oh, what? No, no, no. That was the scout. So now I've managed to cap his fuel. I don't have to be overextended and hold this cutoff anymore because I've got the fuel. It's in my control. It's safer for me to consolidate my line and simply just move my forces across here. Although he has just seen my MG repositioning. So it might even be a good idea for me to just move here. I'll heal up this squad. Merge into that squad. I'll cap that with that squad and then retreat that. And he will then become a Jaeger. As well as I'm going to purchase a Jaeger. Actually, no, I don't need that scout. We're going to go for a Jaeger. A converted Jaeger. And then... Simply put... Oh, actually, he's gone across to the side. Simply put, um, I'm going to just reinforce this side with mines. Actually, I can bring that squad up. Is that an easy suppression? Yeah, it is. Let's suppress that squad as well. Get the vet one. No, no, I'm going to go for you. Verbals. Especially because he's just gone for a mortar. I can punish this. Yep, I can punish it because he's gone captain as well. Our arsenal has been expanded, Commandant. He's still cut off there, so that's fine. Actually, let's just race this cannon crowd around the back. Move that MG because he's going to start shooting it. Assigning infantry to the rear. Jaeger will be available shortly. Oh, uh, whilst he's smoking that, I'm just going to build a sandbag. Get a Jaeger squad. This one will potentially become a Shrek squad. But this one will be a Jaeger. A mortar of my own to counter mortar. Sandbag that up. And we're good. Got a really strong army composition now. And a good resource advantage, especially with the verbal going to be on the way. Now. The men are ready. Grenadiers, grab your gear. 
Okay, I won't build that sandbag because he's coming. Have captured a victory point. Eight centimeter mortar is ready to provide support. Oh, he's gone bars. Perfect. The reason why I'm saying perfect is because that verbal is going to come in with a massive punch. Oh, is that a Scott? Yeah, Scott. I think I'm out of range there. Yeah, I am. Alright, Verbal Vince. Okay, I'll just heal that squad with that one. Ouch. Ouch. Let's just cap that and run. The verbal will be able to mop up the rest. And I'll get vet one next as well. And let's put the mortar there. That's a really strong place for a mortar. Okay. Next up is heals. Nice. That's a good quick kill. Enemy forces have claimed our territory. And that's the thing against the US in this patch. You need good quick kills against them. Like the Brumba offers that. Sometimes the P4 offers that. Nebelwerfer. I feel like the more prolonged the engagement goes for, the more damage end up doing US this bars are just so effective at long range oh, at most at all ranges and then then the support weapons and everything else can bring up the rear I'm actually going to smoke somewhere here. I'm going to smoke that cut off. And then I'm just going to sit in it and make his life a living nightmare by capping that like that and then shooting a flare so I know when he's approaching and then I can shoot another smoke over there and walk over there to really just sit on that cutoff and get a massive resource advantage, especially because I'm going to be bringing... My verbal vent across. And I'll just get a Martyr now to help out as well. Oh, he does have grenades. Nice. And not only that, but it also revealed the grenade tech. Just put down another grenade. Jump into that smoke. Alternate the smokes again. I'll have to back up now, though. The anti-tank gun has zeroed in on my location. But the damage has been done. And now, MG. MG is the best thing. Because he's wrecked. I think my opponent's starting to realize that um, if he just gets a rifle blob, he's probably going to be able to push me out of his zone. So I don't want that to continue. So double MG is going to be a good way to stop this. And counter mortar barrage that. MG 42 
V4 threes. Oh, I thought I retreated that. Pretty fortunate there that I didn't lose that Jaeger. Enemy forces have claimed our territory. Nice movement with his mortar there, my opponent. Okay. Gonna have to displace that MG. I've just engaged the vision range there just to see if that anti-tank gun's moving forward, but it doesn't look like it is. I can't win that fight, so I'm just going to run. Get the sweeper so I can accelerate the repairs. And now I'm really starting to think about battle group. Battle group selection here will be really useful. And I'm feeling a... I'm feeling a ma what are they called? A Vesper. <laughs> May be highly beneficial in this position. The enemy has claimed our sector. That's fine. Oh, I didn't heal my martyr. That's a problem. We are to be commanded. The enemy is down to 100 points. They are securing our capture point. Uh, let's reverse back. Just beyond the anti-tank gun range. You can see I had it selected there on purpose. And I'm also going to smoke just there because that's going to cut the anti-tank gun line. And I'm going to dive my verbal vin in this gap here, which is going to force a retreat on these two rifles. Okay, that's enough smoke now. I'm going to engage the white phosphorus rounds. Shoot a flare so I can see what he's doing. Their forces collapse. They are down to only 50 points. And just keep repairing. Oh. We have lost control of a victory point. Nice. And I've got the f MG flanking as well. A flanking MGs. <laughs> Always a uh, powerful play. Actually, you know what I can go for here? The Tiger. Let's just go late game Tiger. And I'm just going to go T2 for a pack, just in case he gets out an easy 8. Grenade's good there. Um, I don't need the vision at the moment. I'm just going to retreat. Because I don't need the vision there. Because I've got the mortar here. And it's actually revealing a lot of targets for me. Just through its firing. So I can deny the cap there. But I'll switch the prioritization. Great. Walking backwards. And just oh, I didn't realize I had the such a VP advantage on that now. I might be able to just seal it out. With that and a flanking MG. Alright, pack. 
and then just I should be able to save till I get the uh Oh no, I've won. Yeah, no, I've won because I'm gonna zone him off that. Yeah, GG. But you can see the Kettencrad. The Kettencrad has its place. It is able to push some units around quite effectively in the early game. I will be honest. I'm able to use this strategy against probably people in the top below the top twenty, above the top twenty. I find it's a tad more difficult, um, and I think it's just because they have less, and to have less idle time, and that early game, if I lose one engagement, I'm in big trouble. It's hard to regain green cover positions off riflemen after that, but this gives you the initiative. It allows for that pushing. It got nine kills just from mines, but it got a lot more kills through its vision that it supported and pushing units out of cover, but you can't push units constantly out of cover once it gets to the point where they get grenade techs available. Um, and it offers an interesting mid-game transition as well because you could see that from that vision that I had, the ability to push and lock down a cutoff, which is possible with an MG in the early game build as opposed to just spamming grands, which is the meta. Um, you don't always have the capacity to do that. But yeah, I, I, <laughs> I'd love to get a replay where I can show how I can competently and consistently beat a top 10 player, but I'm not there yet. I think I'm getting close, but still need a bit more work at it. But yeah, you can see, even just from the KDR there, there was a good level of dominance. I'll go through the stats as well. Yeah, Jaegers are strong as well. G43 Jaegers, underrated. They hit the spot, 35 kills. And I like transitioning one of those three grands into a Jaeger. And that's that. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.